Hi, I'm Tom from Tom Cycle Recycling, and today I'd like to show you how to remove and replace the sight glass from a master cylinder. This particular master cylinder is the front for a 1983 CB1100F, but it's very similar to many others. What happens over time is the plastic deteriorates, and eventually it starts to crack. It could leak, it could come out. We want to replace that. There's not much that's needed as far as tools go for this job. I just use a small slotted screwdriver and a pick. And if you notice, there's a steel piece in the inside here with a slot in it. And that's just to give you an easier way to see the level of the fluid. So I take the slotted screwdriver and I just slip in from behind in that slot and carefully just start to push through. Now you gotta be kind of careful. You don't wanna damage that slotted piece if you plan to reuse it. Basically just get a hole going and you could do it from the front if you want, but there's a little less risk of damaging that slotted piece. All right, so I've already gotten a fair amount of it out. I'm prying from the outside now, and this material is quite brittle and soft at the same time, and it wouldn't hurt to take a heat gun and just heat this up good, and that'll help make things go a little quicker. Just want to get this out completely, and then you want to make sure this groove is cleaned out thoroughly. So once you know you've gotten all the material out, take a look at it under a magnifier, look closely, and then take some acetone or something similar, spray it out good, get any residue that's out of there. You want this to be nice and clean for what we're going to do next. All right, we've got a master cylinder that's been refinished. The sight glass was removed. The entire area where it was seated has been cleaned out, so now it's ready for a new one. You can buy glass sight glasses online. I prefer Lexan because they don't break and they hold up fine to brake fluid, so I have these made. And these are designed to be a light press fit. You don't need a lot of tools for this. A, an 11 millimeter socket clear RTV silicone sealant. I've got a special clamp here. This is a glue syringe. It's not what you think it is. If you look very closely, you'll see there's a lip right here, and that's what's going to stop the glass. That's where it's going to seat. So we need to put a very fine bead of caulking all the way around there. And that's where the syringe comes in handy because you don't want to load it up. If you put a lot of glue in there, when you press that glass in, it's going to squish out and it's going to obscure your view. It's, uh, it's kind of tedious work. You've got to take your time. You could use a magnifier if it makes it easier and, and work under that. And basically, you just want to start squeezing a little bit of the glue out and work your way around. So now it's ready for the glass to be installed. Uh, I came up with a little contraption here so that I can use the clamp without marring the surface and I have a better way to clamp and press this in. So I just took a little piece of wood and drilled it and used a couple of bolts to attach it to the master cylinder. This is ready to go. First thing you have to do is just kind of lightly seat the glass, get it into position. Okay, it's partially in. Get the clamp into position. By the way, I'm using an 11 millimeter socket, which is perfect size for pressing this in. So I just start tightening, get it kind of centered on the glass and you'll feel it pushing in. It doesn't have to go very far, and it doesn't hurt to stop and look. It's actually pretty much already in place, and the way you can tell is you can see a little bit of the, the silicone starting to squish. I'm going to give it one more squeeze just to be safe, but you just have to trust your eyes. You're going to know what kind of depth to expect it to go in based on where that lip is located. All right, so now you know how it's done. Um, this is a, one particular master cylinder. There's many like it. They may have different size bores, so they may take a slightly different diameter glass, but the installation method is similar from one to the next. So now you have a good idea of how to do it, and it's not that hard, it just takes a little bit of time. Best of luck.